look at stories that left a lasting impact, like a stranger's wrong turn that ended up saving four sleeping siblings from a burning home. Brendan Burt was on his way to a friend's house when he made a wrong turn onto an unfamiliar road in his hometown of Red Oak, Iowa. When he noticed a home engulfed in flames, his instincts kicked in and he immediately ran out, called 911 and started yelling for those inside to come out of this inferno. While asleep, the Lehman children, Bryce 22, Kindred 17, Spirit 14, and Christopher 8, heard Brendan's screams, and they ran out just in time. Luckily, parents Tinder and Chris were not at home, but by the time they returned, the fire had taken everything that they owned and five of their beloved dogs. Two weeks after the devastating fire, they joined us to share the story of a stranger's kindness and heroic act. Take a look. When you saw the flames, mm -hmm. a lot of people would have just called 911 right. and maybe waited from the car or stepped. You did it. You're not mm -hmm. a firefighter, you're not a first responder, right. but you don't look afraid. That's what's I so mean, amazing. I just like, I had no time to act or to think, just to act, you know, just, it was so quick. Like I knew I had to do something real quick because, you know, five minutes by the time that house was gone, like they weren't going to get out, so. Did you know there were kids in there? I, I didn't even know if anyone was home. Like, I, don't, I didn't even know this family until this happened, so. So you weren't sure if anybody was in? No, no idea. You no had idea. no idea. Mm -hmm. And you started throwing the rocks and trying to get the attention of the, if, if yeah. there was somebody mm -hmm. in. When you start to see them running out, mm -hmm. and that, when I see that little Christopher at the end yeah. coming out, mm -hmm. to know that there were kids in there, and they start right. coming out and you're seeing them, mm -hmm. what did you think? I was just happy, you know? Like, I, I, at that point, I didn't know if anyone was going to run out. It's just, it just happened. Because when you see me in the video, I was going to go to the back door to try to, like, break it down and yell. But then they just ran out out of nowhere. So it just happened quick. Like, just, and it's God, God's work, you know? Yes. You know? Yes. You know? Yeah. I'm going to try not to cry right now. <laughs> um, being a mom myself, I can't even imagine the fear. But... Your kids are age 8 to 22. Um, Tinder, this was just two weeks ago. Yes. Your homeowner's insurance has just lapsed. Yes. And you lost everything. Everything. But you have everything. I, ha I mean, I have five ch children, so I have, you know, five parts of my heart that are out there walking the streets right now, and he saved four of them. Yeah. And I just... I'm so, I mean, grateful is not even the word to describe it. So to take some stress off your plate, literally, <laughs> our friends at Gobble are giving your family one year's worth of dinners, worth $8,000. Oh we want to be able to have your children not worry about where they're going to eat and what they're going to eat. And that is not all. So we found a wish list filled with everything from furniture <laughs> to clothes, to appliances and toys. I'm also <laughs> told you like a pressure cooker like me. Oh man, that's yes, a lifesaver. <laughs> so guess what? It's not on the wish list anymore. Aww. We bought it all for you. All oh of those items on your wish list will be coming to you. Enough of this incredible story. People were saying it gave them chills, calling it a blessing for the family, with Brenda being the Lehman's hero. It's been over a year since they appeared on our show, and since then, the family has been able to get back on their feet. Let's see how they're doing. Take a look. Hi, Cameron. Since the show, there's a lot of updates. We had the incredible opportunity to buy a home on a couple of acres here in Reading, Iowa. My husband has been working his tail off to pay for this house, to get it paid off as soon as possible. I've been a full-time nursing student and a full-time mom. My kids, all four of them, they're adjusting really well. Kindred is off traveling the world, living her best life. Bryson has followed in his dad's footsteps and joined the apprenticeship. My kids never grieved anything materialistic after the fire, but Tamra buying the Amazon wish list for them gave them so much joy. The gobble boxes that Tamron sent, they just reminded us that we needed to take time out for each other and take time out as a family. She sent Christopher the money to do his room. So this is my room. And he finally has his own room and has all of his stuff from Tamron set up. 
Brendan is still such a huge part of our lives. We adore him. He's still very much involved with the kids and still very much a part of our lives. It's the last time we were on the show. I've just been working on music, expanding my craft. The connection between the Lehman family and me is still strong to this day. I try to check in on them as much as I can. Bye, Jam Fam! Thank you so much to Brendan and the Lemas for sharing their story with us.